Guys, NASA has done research on the crucifixion of Christ. This is crazy. When I first saw this, I was like, hold on, got a fact check. And I did, this is crazy. In Matthew 27, 45, it says from the sixth hour until the ninth hour, darkness came over all of the land. This was as Jesus was on the cross. Now, if you Google when scholars think Jesus died, they believe it was April 3rd, 33 AD. There was a partial solar eclipse that has been recorded by nasa.gov, guys. This is not a religious site that records a partial solar eclipse, April 3rd, 33 AD in Jerusalem, two hours and 50 minutes long. And Matthew said there was darkness for three hours. I mean, God confirms things all the time, but to have a site like NASA literally confirm this, and then the note on this part of the website is, Crucifixion of Christ, question mark. Happy Easter, y'all. He's risen. There is breaking news right now and there's a secret code involved and we need to listen carefully because someone is trying to tell us something important. For those of you that don't know, our current Miss USA has stepped on, which has never happened in the history of Miss USA. Her posts seem pretty chill. She talks about her mental health, which is so important for her to focus on. But women work their entire lives to become Miss USA. There is thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars put into this. It is harder to compete in Miss USA than it is to be in the Super Bowl. This is a huge deal. So for someone to step down, it's unheard of. And then when you look at this a little bit closer, if you put together the first letter of every sentence, it spells, I am silenced. Absolutely do not think this is a coincidence. I can't even imagine how many contracts, NDAs, all the things she is under. So her putting this in there was so someone would find out and someone would be able to listen closely. I wouldn't be surprised if she starts sprinkling other information around. Hopefully when these contracts and stuff expire, she can give us some more details. But there has been a lot of things going on in the Miss Universe organization for many, many years now. And I think a lot of these women have been silenced. Hopefully we will find out more soon and I really just wish her the best and hope that she's doing okay and her mental health is okay. Pressure is growing on the Miss USA organization tonight with Miss Teen USA stepping down, saying her values no longer align with the organizations. Only days after Miss USA resigned over mental health concerns. All this putting a new spotlight on the pageant biz and the pressure that they can put on contestants. Many former contestants are now calling for more transparency, demanding the pageant release the former Miss USA, Noella, make that Noelia Voigt from her non-disclosure agreement. Voigt stepped down suddenly with fewer than six months to go in her reign. The pageant's first runner-up, Miss Hawaii, is now taking the crown. NBC's Maura Barrett joins us now. Maura, walk us through um, what are we hearing now from the contestants and the organizations? Well, Tom, there's a lot of speculation about what's really going on behind the scenes at this organization. A lot has happened this week, so if you'll bear with me to recap. Today's Thursday. Over the weekend, social media director uh, resigned, Claudia Michelle, posting on Instagram about workplace toxicity, bullying, and she said that she was concerned about the title holder's mental health, Miss USA and Miss Teen USA. On Monday, that's when Miss USA, Noelia Voigt, resigned, citing her mental health. And people on social media noticed in her resignation statement the first letter of every sentence was capitalized and it spelled out the sentence I sentence I am silenced and so there was concern swirling around that then fast forward to Wednesday that's when Miss Teen USA Oma Sofia Stravastava posted my personal values no longer fully align with the direction of the organization she resigned at that point as well now we did get some details from the social media director saying that she had written uh, she had observed disrespect to Stravastava's fam to herself and her family and the social media director had written I feel the way current management speaks about their title holders is un unprofessional and inappropriate. And so the CEO of the organization wrote in a statement to NBC News, I take these allegations seriously. The well-being of all individuals associated with me Miss USA is my top priority. Now, as all this has been unfolding, in the meantime, Miss Hawaii, who was the first runner-up in the Miss USA pageant, stepped up and is now taking over the role of Miss USA for the next six months. But even so, she wrote in her acceptance statement that she didn't make the decision 
decision lightly. She said that I stand with Noelia and admire her strength to step down and prioritize her mental health. And so it's a lot of developments in the space just in the last week, but a lot of questions still swirling about the details behind uh, these resignations, Tom. Tomorrow, we really don't know what happened, right? We don't know what caused these women to resign, but they're not allowed to speak because they had non-disclosure agreements, NDAs. Right. These NDAs are really holding these title holders uh, to be silent for now. Uh, but we have seen that 39 of their fellow contestants from 2023 have posted on Instagram calling for transparency, asking the organization to release them from their NDAs. And so that was interesting to see uh, that support from across the board. Again, the social media manager did not have an NDA. So that's why she said that she was able to speak a little bit more freely. But it's important to note the context of all of this. Back in 2022, a former Miss USA contestant died by suicide. And in the same year, uh, contestants were calling out the organization for, quote, rigging uh, the the whole event about who won. And so this is just coming in a series of, of tough years for the organization and a lot of calls for more transparency uh, and a safer environment for these contestants in a very highly contested situation. You guys will never believe what I found in my mailbox. So this was like quite a few years ago. I was in middle school and my mom and I were really financially struggling, but no one knew about it. It was like a, a big family secret, but we were down bad, like really bad. My mom and I would pray constantly. She would be like down on her knees begging God for some sort of financial miracle. This particular month, my mom was exactly $1,000 short on rent. So she was praying to God, begging him, pleading him for some way to come up with a thousand dollars. She just didn't know how to. Mind you, my parents got divorced in 2008 and my mom owned a spa in 2008. So it was like a very hard time for a recession to be happening. I was coming home from school and my mom was asking me to get the mail and I didn't want to. We kept fighting back and forth about who would get out and get the mail because I was being lazy and didn't want to get it. I ended up getting the mail and once I got in the car, I was like, what is this? It was a chase envelope. And I was like, um, and my mom was like, I have no idea, open it. I open it and there's a letter addressed to Lori and Miss Anna. And inside the envelope, there is 10 $100 bills. There's $1,000 cash anonymously put into our mailbox. We have tried so hard to figure out who gave us that money. We tried to think of anyone who banked with Chase Bank, tried to match up the handwriting, who would call me Miss Anna. To this day, we have no idea who did it. And also to this day, God has provided financially above and beyond what we could ever imagine. This is your sign to not only trust in God, believe in miracles, but also when the Holy Spirit is telling you to do something or bless someone, make sure to do it because you never know what that blessing can mean to someone else. I have no doubt that $1,000 was from God and whoever was the person that did it, they were following what God put on their heart.